to the fact that the vitamin is not. I've seen that pot so many times through the years. Everyone gets a full sort of tributary and pretty sweet. The king stops. Okay. Are you ready? Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm going to call this meeting of the Las Vegas Clark County Library District to order at 5 p.m. Uh, could we please have roll call? Chair Wah. Here. Trustee Rogers. Trustee Haran. Here. Trustee Whiteley. Here. Trustee Foy. Here. Trustee Ortiz. Here. Trustee Benavidez. Here. Trustee Sanchez. Present. Trustee Dukowski. Here. And Trustee Shelton. And we do have a quorum chair. Thank you. Uh, everyone, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Agenda item number two, public comment. Uh, topics raised during this item must be limited to matters on today's agenda. Do we have anyone signed up for public comment? No, we do not. Is there anyone who would like to public comment who did not sign up? Nope. We'll move on to agenda number three, board action to accept proposed agenda. Uh, do I have a motion? So moved. Thank you. Uh, there's motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Agenda item number four, approval of proposed minutes. Uh, these are the Finance and Audit Committee of February 12th, Special Board Meeting February 28th, Naming Committee Meeting March 11th, and Regular Board Meeting March 14th. I hope everyone had an opportunity to review those. Uh, are there any, if there are no comments or questions, I would accept a motion. Just to um, clarify that our agenda, our meeting minutes from the last meeting, showed that um, Whiteley was at our meeting, but she was not. She was absent, just so you know, for our meeting minutes. Okay, we will I, take that. What meeting did I miss? Um, the March meeting, March 11th. Okay. You mean the March, March meeting, the, the, the regular March board 14? meeting? Or Yes, sorry. Were you there on March 14th, Trustee Whiteley? No, no, it was spring break. Okay. That's right. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, we'll make that correction. Um, so, with that correction, are there any other corrections? If not, I'll accept a uh, motion with that correction. I move to accept the proposed minutes. I'll second. There's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Uh, agenda item number five, chair's report. Uh, first off, everyone, welcome to Mesquite Library. Um, happy to be here. Uh, it was a beautiful drive up here. I uh, was able to visit Bunkerville Library, so now I've visited all the libraries. So I think I'm entered to win a prize or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, but a uh, big reason why we came here today was uh, to honor um, one of our colleagues who left us too soon um, and who we appreciate her service. And I definitely want to acknowledge uh, Mr. Doug Raymaker, uh, Mayor Lippman and Councilman uh, Bozier for being here um, as we honor this remarkable woman. Uh, so I will first start out with if any trustees would like to um, 
pay any homage to uh, Trustee Raymaker. I'll start with uh, Trustee Dukowski on the end. Well, um, I called her Sandy. Most of you called her Sandra, but I called her Sandy, and um, she was a good friend of mine, besides being a very good uh, councilwoman woman for the city. Um, she loved Mesquite. She loved people. She was always happy to meet people and do things for the city. And she was just an awesome person. And I miss her terribly. Thank you, Trustee Foyt. I knew Sandra through her service on the board. Um, she would fight the traffic and get to our meetings, no matter where we were in the Valley. And sometimes, uh, uh, since we, Las Vegas in particular seems to be the land of orange cones these days, it was quite a challenge. But she persevered, and she was a great presence, a uh, very steady voice on the board. And as Karen has said, she'll be missed and is missed. Thank you. Trustee Heron. I worked with Sandra for just a short time on the board. Uh, during our time together, when I came onto the board, she was just very welcoming, um, very positive. Um, she came to every meeting, no matter how far away it was, and just always had, um, you know, words of of support and help for me as a newcomer on the board at the time, and um, just have wonderful, positive feelings towards her, and and we definitely miss her on the board. Trustee Ortiz. Thank you, Mr. Chair, uh, Mayor, and to the family. Uh, Trustee Sandra was, she really understood libraries. She believed in her community. She really did a lot after she took over for Randy Entz. She really helped Mesquite and promote Mesquite and did a lot just overall. She was a thinker, made sound decisions, and I, I'm very proud to have been on the board of trustees with her at that time. Uh, and, you know, life calls, God calls, uh, she'll surely be missed. I know she's missed by the family, but we miss her too and miss her, her sound advice. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here with us. Trustee Sanchez. Hi, um, I'm new to the board. And so I didn't get to work with Sandra, but um, I've heard amazing things about how she was a fighter for Mesquite and how she was always willing to help as long as she was helping her community. Um, I talked to uh, Com County Commissioner Marilyn Kirkpatrick, and she told me what an amazing woman she was and how she helped develop this area and was a big part of this board. Um, so I just wanted to offer my condolences and thank you um, for coming. And I'm very, very happy to um, be here to recognize her because she is an amazing person. Thank you. Trustee Whiteley. Thank you. I think Trustee Heron said it really well. We joined the board at around the same time. And what I loved the most about working alongside Sandra was her willingness to reach out and ensure that people felt welcome, that she was willing to share her experience and her knowledge in a way that made us all stronger and make us all better. I think it's rare that a person um, takes the, those extra steps and that extra time to reach out um, with the only desire being to make the board um, a stronger unit and better functioning. I'm sad that I'm not there tonight. I drive through um, and stop in Mesquite often and was looking forward to doing a Mesquite meeting um, when Sandra was still a part of our board. Um, so I'm sad that I'm not there um, tonight as you guys celebrate in her honor, but she was a special lady and I'm thankful for the time that I got to spend in her orbit. And Trustee Benavides. Thank you. Oh my God. What can I say about Sandy? She was such a great lady, just a sweet demeanor, but she knew what she was talking about and she always did her homework. And I love that about her. I love that she loved Mesquite and always talked very highly about it. Um, I, I always got to talk to her when uh, my son would play in Mesquite and I'd be all excited to let her know that I was in her hometown, in her backyard. And she was excited to hear my stories about my thoughts on Mesquite. And so I'd like to thank her family for sharing her with us. And um, truly, she'll be missed. Thank you. 
And I'm going to move over to this one. Uh, if I could invite Mr. Ray. Oh, oh Trustee Rogers, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Trustee. Yes, I would say similar to what my uh, fellow trustees said who are newest to the board. I met Sandy through the board and she personally reached out to me to welcome me and to answer any questions I may have had. You know, and I just remember she was always committed to doing whatever it took serving in whatever capacity to make the library system successful. And I know she was deeply dedicated as evidence through her always driving to our locations in Las Vegas from Mesquite. And I will certainly miss her. And I also thank the family for loaning her, lending her to us, you know, to serve in, as a trustee on the library. Thank you. So I will, I'll move over to the handheld right here. If I could ask the trustees to join me here in the middle. And I'd like to invite Mr. Raymaker uh, up here. Uh, we like to honor our uh, uh, we like to honor our trustees who've served with a token of gratitude, which we didn't have the opportunity to do that with uh, with Sandra. But uh, we'd invite Mr. Raymaker up here, uh, so that way we can uh, uh, give her give him uh, a, a little token uh, recognizing her service, um, honoring the commitment and service Trustee Sandra Maker gave to the district and our community in our community uh, forever in our hearts. Uh, so I'll give that to you, Mr. Raymaker. Thank you for sharing her with us, as many have said. Uh, I don't know if you want to say anything. You don't have to, but uh, we certainly appreciate um, you, like I said, sharing her with us. And uh, she's been such an amazing part of this board. Yeah. Sandy liked to uh, just help anybody and everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here and for sharing her with us. Thank you. And I think uh, Director Watson, Ms. Raymaker, Director Watson has something for you as well. Ms. Raymaker, come on back. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to say, um, you know, I talked to Trustee Raymaker before every uh, board meeting. Uh, she certainly helped me. Um, become acclimated to Mesquite. I think I was probably here four times in the first three months of my uh, my tenure um, a lot and presented to the to the city council. And I, sir, I certainly miss her because, again, I, I spoke with her uh, often, um, probably every other week for a while. And, yeah, <laughs> so I also wanted to, for her service to the board, Give you a Las Vegas Clark County Library District coin on behalf of the library district and the library staff. Thank you very much. And uh, Mr. Mayor, Councilman Boger, would you like to add anything or? I know how to pick them. <laughs> I, do a good, I do a good job. 
pride myself on that. And we miss her terribly at the city hall. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Councilman Boger? Yes, thank you. Um, Sandy, you know, I didn't really know Sandy a lot until I started campaigning for council. And on national politics, we were completely the opposite. When it came to Mesquite, we were in lockstep. Sandy was a very sweet lady. And I, you know, I miss being on the council with her and, and Councilwoman Dukowski. And uh, we were able to do a lot, accomplish a lot for this community, making our schools safer. Um, uh, she was about as kind-hearted of a person as you'll ever meet. And that's that's how I remember her. It's, it's less of being on council. It's more of the phone calls we'd spend talking about everything going on in town and talking about the families and talking good stuff about that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but we, I miss her terribly. And uh, this, I'm, I know I'm better for having known her. Thank you. I, I, I know many of us, I know we all are. Um, so thank you, everyone. Uh, and thank you, Mr. Raymaker. Uh, for coming out. Um, do trustees have any other uh, comments or thoughts? Uh, we'll move on to agenda item number six, library reports. Executive Director Watson. Thank you, Chair Wah. Oh, a little bit. All right. So um, I submitted my report, uh, as always, and we'll take questions, but I just wanted to let uh, everyone know um, we had a great uh, Public Library Association conference last week in Columbus, Ohio. We had several staff members attend, and we also had two of our trustees, Trustee Foyt and Trustee Shelton, also attend. Uh, I was able to um, speak and uh, share what we're doing here in Las Vegas on uh, on five different panels um, during PLA. And so, again, um, just wanted to talk about PLA, and we'll have more of that in our in our reports. I know Trustee Foyt is probably going to say something about PLA uh, and her uh, and what she was able to um, uh, gather and accomplish by the sessions that she attended. Um, the other thing is that um, I just want to say, um, as part of my comments tonight, I thank um, I thank everybody for coming to Mesquite as well, uh, and the staff who had to come and you know prepare for this meeting because this is not typically an area that we that we come to to Mesquite to set up. So I wanted to say thank you to uh, our staff, PBS staff, Deborah uh, and, and Ebony and, and everybody involved to help make this uh, help make this meeting happen. I'll now Chair, I'll take any questions regarding my report. Thank you. Are there any questions for Director Watson? Are there any uh, questions for any other reports? Any other reports anyone wants to bring bring forward? Seeing none, I'll accept the reports. We'll move on to agenda item number eight, B1, discussion and possible board action to appoint the East Las Vegas Qualic B Incorporated, Mesquite Qualic B Incorporated, and West Las Vegas Qualic B Incorporated Board of Directors, uh, Mr. Cabayas. Good evening, Flores Cabayas, Chief Financial Officer. For the record, in 2017, the Library District began participating in the Federal New Markets Tax Credit Program which provided funding to help build the East Las Vegas Library and the Mesquite Library uh, and supported construction costs. In March of 2015 of 2024, staff secured funding for the West Las Vegas Library. And as part of the program, the district created three nonprofit corporations known as Qualified Active Low Income Community Businesses. We call them Qualic Bs. And the Qualic B support the library district by acquiring the new libraries, then leasing them back to the library district to operate. Each year, the Board of Trustees appoints the directors of the Qualic B's governing boards. And two of these directors must be independent, meaning they are not officers, directors, trustees, or employees of the library district, the library district foundation, or any other affiliate of the Qualic B, the district, or the foundation. Three of the district of the directors must be current or former employees, officers, or trustees of the district, or employers, officers, or directors of the foundation. The district's practice is also to appoint the library's chief financial officer as the governing board's director, president, sorry. And based on these requirements, the proposed directors for the East Las Vegas quality are Floresta Cabayas as president, trustee Dukowski as secretary treasurer, 
and directors Mo Dennis, Michael Saunders, and Trustee Ortiz. For the Mesquite Quality, Oresto Cabayas as president, Trustee Dukowski as secretary treasurer, and directors Tim Wong, Michael Saunders, and Cherwa. For the West Las Vegas Qualic B, again, Floresto Cabayas as president, Secretary Hiron as secretary of the West Las Vegas Qualic B, Vice Chair Rogers as treasurer, and directors Mo Dennis and Michael Saunders. Staff is recommending the board appoint the slate of officers and directors of the Qualic Bs as discussed. Thank you. Are there any questions for Mr. Cabayas? And if there are no questions, I will accept a motion. Motion moved. To... Oh. There is a motion. Do I have a second, Trustee Sanchez? Second. Uh, we have a motion from uh, uh, Vice Chair Rogers, a uh, second from Trustee Sanchez. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, item 8B2, discussion and possible board action to approve the process for naming opportunities and plaque recognition for non-funded donors. Uh, Vice Chair Rogers, did you want to do this one or do you want me to talk through it? Um, uh, Chair, if you could take care of it, I am getting out of the car, walking into the building. Sounds good. Uh, so uh, so I'll, I'll read the background here so everyone kind of has the same information. Um, on March 11th, the Naming Rights Committee uh, comprised of Vice Chair Rogers as committee chair, Trustee Benavidez and Trustee Shelton uh, met via Zoom to discuss the process for naming opportunities. Uh, Executive Director Watson outlined the process for naming opportunities, which is the recommender is to provide prospective names and background information to the office of the Executive Director. Uh, he'll then, he will then share them with the Development and General Services Division. The Executive Director will review and present the prospective names and background information to the Naming Committee for consideration. If the Naming Committee approves the proposed names, the committee will place an agenda item on the next board of trustees meeting for discussion and possible action. The naming committee is also recommending that non-funded naming opportunities be in the form of a plaque placed at the appropriate library of the honoree following the same process. Um, the back, so a little further background is um, we, and, and this first came to me when I met with uh, Councilman Bozier when I was here for a, uh, community education advisory board meeting, um, and there was a a desire in the community to honor uh, Trustee Raymaker at this library, um, and a part of that is, um, and then I found out, I was told, uh, that our naming policy actually did not uh, provide opportunities for non-donors, uh, non-financial uh, donors to um, to be recognized under our existing policy. So this policy is so that way uh, we as a board can consider and name uh, rooms or spaces as the case may be uh, for individuals uh, in our in the libraries um, through a review, review process by the executive director, the committee, the naming committee, and ultimately the board of trustees uh, for individuals who, for contributions to the community and the library system uh, who may not necessarily have contributed financially. Um, and so the recommended action uh, is a motion to approve the process for naming opportunities and approve non-funded naming opportunities in the form of a plaque placed at the appropriate library of the non-donor honoree following the same process. Uh, so I will open it up to any questions. Trustee Sanchez. I'm just, I, I read the um, Board of Trustee meeting minutes and it says that there will be a plaque for that space. So is that space a wall? Is it the room, the entire room? I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to understand because I, I I read the minutes, but I didn't understand that. So could someone enlighten me? I believe, uh, Trustee Sanchez, as the discussion, it would be um, depending on the location and in the appropriate discussion with the naming committee, that would come forward to um, the Board of Trustees. For example, if we were to put a plaque here, we could choose the front entrance of the library to rec to recognize uh, Trustee Raymaker, or we could select a room or outside of a room. So it kind of depends on the library space, but I don't think we determine the specifics of each. We haven't determined each location until that it comes up for discussion. And then my other question is, is if we as a board we're going to allow plaques, which I think is a great idea. Um, I was wondering if we would allow that, like maybe we 
designate a wall for each library for, for something like that because because the the only the my only question is if we designate a certain wall or location to you know recognize people that are incredible if i'm a, a someone who wants to purchase maybe a room or a conference room or another part of the library then maybe there won't be an issue uh, maybe we we have like a wall I, I don't know i'm i'm just these are just these the only reason why i'm bringing this up is because if i am somebody that wants to purchase something maybe it's better to have that distinction the separation that's that's what i'm bringing up uh i would say chair uh, uh trustee uh, sanchez if i am given the direction I will work with our general services director and the general services team to identify in every library location a designated wall that we would be able to share with the board of trustees to say this is the designated space. Yeah, because there's there's a lot of great people. And I know that for um, the West Las Vegas Library, I know that a uh, trustee had mentioned one person to be recognized. And I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, there's there's other amazing people too. And so I don't know, maybe we have a wall. So then that way we get to do that stuff. I, I'm just throwing this out there. I, I wasn't at the, I wasn't at the meeting, but I read this and I was just trying to understand how, if I were somebody that was a MGM or whoever, how, how would this work out? So I, I would, I would suggest that that would be my, my proposal to that. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and with this, this name changes that places that, <clears throat> Um, in the sphere of the naming committee and with in consultation with the exact director development, because obviously development, um, if there are uh, paid opportunities, um, then obviously development is part of that. Um, and so I would uh, definitely say that this enables the naming committee to have those conversations. Right. But there's a separation. There's a difference between those that are recognized and not paid and those that are. And so I'm saying I would like to see that separation because I think it'd be a lot easier as a library district for the executive director and for staff to be able to parcel out the library as they see fit. I mean, I understand it'll come before us, but I think it's just easier. Yeah, and and I and I uh understand your and understand your comments. I, I I think what I'm saying is just for this item is that this enables that to happen. Is that it, that enables the naming committee, the executive director, and general services to make to identify those that yeah, process. I, I'm asking if we can just also have like like I just said is like have maybe have general services find a wall so that way we can we can do this for people because there's amazing people throughout our community. And I feel like it gives us access to do that. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Uh, Trustee Ortiz. Mr. Chairman, through you, uh I agree with picking that wall because this is the one that's going to offend a lot of people. He just got here. She just got here. And their name is on the wall and I've been here 40 years and it may or may not be true, but they'll get into the minutia. So, and then if we have the opportunity to get a little bit of funding for a room, how do we extract that name off that room? It's embarrassing. Uh, so it's better to, to have due caution and they'll still get their name because we still value and appreciate the work, but it's better to have them all in one place and, as opposed to getting mired in. And Tip O'Neill, Congressman out of Ohio, all politics are local. Absolutely, this is what's going to happen, you know, because we've been here long enough, you see that happen. So I, I would agree that the process is good. The only thing that needs to be added to this motion is that the director and uh, general services figure out a wall that call it whatever we want to down the road, but that would be the better place to to honor uh, the individuals. So would either one of you want to make a motion to refer this back to the naming committee to make that change? Because this was a process change and they they reviewed the language, so this would need to go back to them uh, to bring well, it back. Can Mr. I, Chairman, with all respect, this is a motion for the board. The naming committee doesn't, the whole board makes a decision on the motion. But we're, we're approving the, pro, the, the policy, which would add this to that policy, which that needs to be clarified, and I think the naming committee Yep. Probably. If I may, the naming committee is submitting a, a process for the board to consider in this motion. So if the board would is not prepared to vote on the motion, 
then it would still go back to the naming committee to devise a revised motion to bring back to the board. So certainly the board is going to ultimately approve the process and the location. So if the board's position is that we want both of those in a single motion, then so what Chair Wise suggesting is that then we would not vote. It would just go back to the board. I mean, back to the naming committee to come back to the board at the future meeting with a revised motion to reflect the current will of the board. Since we have a motion on the floor, I would move to table this and recommend to the naming committee that they add the, a wall uh, designated by the director and the staff and that uh, it come back to this board for final approval. Everything else looks good. So table the motion until such time that the naming committee... I think there's a motion on the floor, so I think we still have to... Uh, no, there, no motion. Question. There, there wasn't a motion made. No, but that is my motion right now. That wasn't? So we have a motion to table from Trustee Ortiz. To send it back to the naming committee so they can take our opinions back and incorporate it in their motion when they come back. Trustee Sanchez? I have a question for Gerald Welt. Is is that your understanding um, that the policy is here and that we can't make a change to the policy as a board? That's correct. I think Trustee Rogers set it out that this is a policy recommendation. Uh, what you're, the, the problem is by adding this caveat to it, you're changing it. And not only for the trustees, but for the public, they've not, they wouldn't have an opportunity to comment on that. So the appropriate move is what trustee Ortiz is doing is tabling the motion uh, for the committee to bring back revised motion if they so choose. Uh, they have to discuss it. They, they choose not to. And then uh, you will go further. Thank you very much. So there's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Motion to table. I'll second the motion to table. So we have a motion from Trustee Ortiz, a second from Trustee Benavidez to table. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. We'll table this and send it back to... Naming committee. Thank you. Great idea. Love it. Okay. Moving on to uh, agenda item number 10 announcements. Um, the 50th anniversary of West Las Vegas Library 70s celebration will be on Wednesday, April 24th at 6 30 p.m. The May board meeting will be held Thursday, May 23rd, 2024 at 5 p.m. at the Windmill Library. The June board meeting will be held on Thursday, June 13th at 5 p.m. at the Centennial Hills Library. And the July board meeting will be held on Thursday, July 11th at 5 p.m. at the Rainbow Library. Um, trustees, I sent out the draft um, the draft evaluation form for Director Watson to everybody after last meeting. Um, I did not receive any comments. Um, are there comments? And if there are none, then that, is, that will be the form that we move forward with for fiscal year 25. I thought we were going to discuss it as a board but maybe not I, we're just we're I just was, gonna we're just gonna send you our taking, comments and then you'll just make changes back and we'll we'll have uh, mr serpico make those changes those adjustments okay no i would uh mr chairman through you have my this board is designed well let me start again we need an evaluation for the director done a great job no doubt about it but he he's employed by the entire board and so having it come to the chair mutes and limits the opinion. We have to have a full discussion. And it may last two minutes, it may last 20 minutes. But I would ask for uh, one meeting specifically just to discuss any questions that we may have as far as the evaluation, because right now it's going to you, and that's not the way the system is set up. He's, he's not employed just for you. He's employed for everybody. He's our only employee. And so it's our opportunity to provide input on how we rate him. And he's done really good. I mean, the, that's not a question here, but it's just the process. So that would be my request to have a special meeting just for the discussion on the evaluation. And I think the bylaws call for one more person to call for that. And I don't know if anybody else has the appetite for that, but that would be my request. Well, we'll um, I'll work with uh, Director Serpico on getting something scheduled. Um, and then uh, obviously next... Next month, um, I will be appointing the nominations committee. So if anyone would like to sit on the, on the nominations committee, please let me know. Um, and I'll be making that appointment next month. 
Um, and then we uh, will have board elections in June. So if anyone would like to run for officer, uh, that'll be the time to do it. Mr. Chairman, I do have one announcement. Before yes, you sir. Close. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank uh, Director Watson and uh, Matt McAnally uh, for co-sponsoring the Nevada Women's Forum with the federal EEOC and the Nevada Equal Rights Commission. They had over 400 people uh, online listening to uh, Senator Pat Spearman, Latoya Holman, Put Punam Math Mathur, Mathur, did I pronounce your name? Mather. Mather, Putnam Mather, Had Hanadi Nadim, and uh, Kara Jenkins. And uh, it was a women's forum about women questions. Uh, and it turned out to be very well at the Whitney Library. So thank you again for allowing us to have that there. It was a great event. Hopefully we can do it again. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Are there any other uh, announcements or comments from trustees? Chair, comment, please. Uh, Trustee Benavidez and then Trustee Sanchez. On a comment for that, uh, the celebration of the West Las Vegas Library, have invitations already been sent out? Trustee Benavidez, it was not a, it's, it's a program, not a actual, it's just a regular program, not a uh, invite where we're going to have like, um, uh, like a, a elected official program or where I'm speaking, I'm actually not even speaking. It's just a regular program for the community that we're, rec we're celebrating the 50 years doing the 70s celebration. So they're going to have like dancing and all types of other activities that are, that are, that will be taking place. I just haven't seen a flyer or, you know, that's why, that's, that's why my question, because I didn't see an open flyer to the community. So I assumed that maybe it was by invitation. So I just haven't seen anything other than me reading it on the agenda. I'm bringing up um, Betsy Ward, our uh, branding and marketing manager to talk about how this program was being uh, advertised to the public. Yeah, so we did do a flyer. It's been on all of the uh, branches for, I want to say, three weeks now. And it was also in library highlights. So that goes out to 400,000 card holders. Okay, I just didn't see it come through mine. So thank you, though. Of course. Thank you. Trustee Sanchez? Oh, I just wanted to say that um, I went to the Mystic event and it was fantastic. And um, I know you already know this, but the staff is absolutely wonderful. And um, just wanted to say shout out to Yaron and Carla and all those people that worked that day because it was very windy and cold outside. Um, and we, they had, you know, events outside and inside and it was just really wonderful. So thank you. Thank you. And I'll, uh, I'll make, I'll do one thank you and one plug and then, and then I'm done uh, is thank you. Whoever decided to do automatic card renewals. Was that you? I don't know who that was, but whoever decided to Leo, I don't know, but uh, whoever decided to do automatic card renewals, I received uh, a comment from someone who absolutely loved it. So uh, that's number one, number two. Damn. I think I forgot what it was. Um, number two was, it was the card and then it was, Anniversary anyway. in Laughlin. What? The anniversary in Laughlin. Oh, uh, happy 30th anniversary, Laughlin. I think there's a program around that. Um, there's something else going on the 24th, which I don't recall, but I think that may be the Laughlin event, I mean, unless I'm mistaken. Laughlin was Tuesday. Well, uh, there's another event on the 24th, I want to say. Um, and then trying to, I'm, I'm stalling because I'm trying to remember what the second thing was, but I can't remember what, what was a plug for something. Customer Appreciation Day, April 24th. Uh, <laughs> uh, Customer Appreciation Day across the district on April 24th. Make sure you, uh, that, that wasn't the one I was thinking of, but but thank you for reminding me of that one as well. Um, on the 25th, April 25th, a Customer Appreciation Day across the district. Make sure you stop in your desk, your uh, closest library uh, to enjoy all those things. Um, can't remember what the other thing was, so I'm going to give it over to Kellen. So maybe it's the uh, next week next tuesday uh, we will be or i will be accepting on behalf of the library district a proclamation from the um the county commissioners uh specifically commissioner mccurdy and on wednesday we will be receiving a uh, proclamation from the city of las vegas as well as i will be presenting as i do every year uh, on National Library Week, which is actually 
uh, this week, actually. So that's what's happening next week. And these proclamations are being um, given to the library district for our uh, the American Library Association uh, Library of the Future and that we have received it, as I've mentioned at our last board meeting, uh, this is the, we have received it three years in a row and that has never been accomplished by any other library uh, at all. Unprecedented. Thank you. That, that wasn't it either, but I remember what it was and I'll come to trustee Ortiz. Um, so push, so to push Hoopla, that's what it was, because uh, I'm in a class right now. They wanted us to buy the book, which was $45, but they only needed three three chapters. It's for free at the library. Okay, Trustee Ortiz. <laughs> uh, again, thank you, Director Watson. It's a testament to your skills, ability, and what you brought to this. Uh, our library district, very proud to have you here, and, and you, you're knocking it out of the park every year. So thank you again, and you, you make us proud when you appear before the boards, and hopefully he'll do a presentation in Mesquite also. City Council, you just invite us. Thank you, Director Watson. Thank you. If there are no other comments from the board, uh, we'll move on to agenda item number 11, public comment. Topics raised on this item cannot be acted upon until the notice provisions of the open meeting law have been met. Is there anyone signed up for public comment for this portion of the meeting? No, we do not. Is there anyone who would like to make public comment who has not signed up? Seeing none, we'll move on to uh, item... I lost it. Adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn? <laughs> Move to adjourn. Trustee Ortiz. Motion from uh, Trustee Ortiz. Is there a second? I'll second. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Drive home safe, everybody. We are adjourned. <laughs> Thank you.